In this tutorial I will demonstrate how you can use video object segmentation to automatically annotate objects in video sequences. The scene shows a man and a woman running together through a park. There are trees on both sides of a promenade. The video starts with a zoomed view of the two persons and as they run away from the camera, they get smaller and smaller. Our task now is to annotate the man and the woman in every frame of the video sequence. I have already prepared two labels, namely, man, and woman. On the first frame of our video sequence, we now annotate the man and the woman with the help of interactive segmentation. For many video sequences it is sufficient to only label the objects on the first frame and the rest can be annotated automatically. However, for this video sequence we will add two more keyframes to video object segmentation to improve the result. This is recommended as the video starts with an image that is strongly zoomed in and only a part of the man and the woman is visible. We will manually label another frame where the persons are better visible, and a third frame where they are entirely visible. We do that again with the help of interactive segmentation. Now that we have manually annotated three frames we can use video object segmentation to label the rest of the video. First, we go to our start frame and select all objects by pressing Ctrl A. Now that all objects of interest have yellow contours. We can set this frame as the initial frame for video object segmentation by choosing Tools, Video Object Segmentation, Set VOS Initial Frame, or by pressing Ctrl and the 1 key. The other keyframes are added to video object segmentation by first selecting them in the browser view. Then we select the man and the woman so that they again have yellow contours and finally we choose Tools, Video Object Segmentation, Add VOS Reference Frame. This will add the selected objects as additional keyframe objects to VOS and improve the results of the algorithm. We do the same also for the last keyframe. Now that we have set up everything for video object segmentation, we can label the rest of the frames automatically. We select Tools, Video Object Segmentation, VOS on Image Range. In the upcoming dialog we select the second frame by a left click and the last frame by Shift plus a left click. So in total we have 50 frames that VOS should annotate automatically. Depending on the speed of your computer and, especially, if you have a CUDA-enabled graphics card this will take from several seconds to a couple of minutes. Alright, let us see how VOS has performed. As we can see, video object segmentation has nicely labeled all the remaining frames of the video sequence. Sometimes, small parts of the objects need a bit of correction but overall the results are pretty satisfying. 